Hey guys, Crewman here, and welcome to my Summer Shed Reorganization video series. And thanks to PCSP for sponsoring this video. It's about to get real hot this summer, and in preparation for that, I wanted to convert 75% of my last open air mining rigs into server cases, and PCSP sent me enough Octominers to do just that. So over the course of the next few days, I will release a few videos showing you just how I did that. This video is sponsored by PC Parts and Services, or PCSP for short. Summer is here, and if you want to keep mining through the bear market to stack your coin of your choice, you need server cases. And there is nowhere else you can get a fully working Octa Miner complete with Hive support for a better price. This is a turnkey solution. All you have to do is install your GPUs, flash an SSD, and you are ready to mine. Usually, shipping kills the cost of any affordable server GPU mining cases, but PCSP offers free shipping in the US. Use code CRUIT5 for 5% off your order, which makes these things cost under $300 with free shipping in the US. That is wild. So thanks again to PCSP for sponsoring this video. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the 3070s from that Octo Miner, and then I am going to take the 40 series and I'm going to put it in the Octo Miner X12 Ultra that I just removed the 30 series from. So even though this is an X12 Ultra, it's a version 1x12 Ultra, not to be confused with the version 3s, which I just showed you. These ones are basically the size of an Octominer X8 Ultra, so I can essentially only put two slot 3070s in. So I'm clearing out all the two slot 3070s from two X12 Ultras and combining them into this one. So here's the finished product, and if you remember from my review, there are three slots where you can put slightly larger GPUs in. So I was able to put three slightly larger 3070s in this case, along with all of the blower Zotax that I had. Doing this allowed me to clear space for the larger Octominer X12 Ultra so that I could put my 40 series in it. I would recommend only using blower cards in these and not founders unless you can space them properly. And the 40 series has been taken out of the shed. I don't know if I would recommend ever doing this. I had to climb down this ladder and it did not feel safe. Nice. And that wire almost caused me to fall. I should have looked and removed all the wires ahead of time. That rig is not going to be fun to take down either. Uh, guys, don't ever put open airframes on the top. It just doesn't seem safe. There's a, a large distance that you could fall and removing them is a nightmare. So. I would just recommend that don't don't ever put open air rig uh, frames on the top and I will never be doing that again. This is the final shot of my mixed GPU open air 40 series rig. There are currently eight GPUs on it. I plan on adding two 4060 Ti's into the Octominer and installing all of them in a way that makes overclocking a mixed GPU rig easy. All right, so here are all my 40 series GPUs that are not in server cases right now. There's a total of 10 ranging from 4060 Ti's to a 4080. Now I normally don't recommend mixing GPUs in the same uh, server case, but if you order them properly uh, and you follow the diagram that you can see right here, they might look funny, but when they show up in the miner, they'll show up in such a way that it'll make them really, really easy to properly overclock them where you just put your 4060 Ti settings first and your 4070, your 4070 Ti, your 4080, and so on. And then it'll look like something like this in the server case. So you can see what they look like right here. Now they look silly in the case, and you will note that I had to make sure that I had enough uh, six to eight pins to power the 4080 and the 4070 Ti's because they require three for the 4080 and two for each of the 4070 Ti's and I wanted to make sure that they were safe. Now, like I did say, they kind of look a little silly and I can't put any more GPUs in this case to power it safely, but when you look at them in Hive, how they're set up, essentially when I do a flight sheet for overclocking, it'll be super easy as I have the two 4060 Ti's first and then the four 4070s along with the 4070 Super and then the two 4070 Ti's and the 4080 as you can see right here. It makes doing flight sheets on mixed rigs a breeze and this is the only way that I would do a mixed GPU server case in the future or going, going forward. So you can see what I've done so far. I've taken all 10 of my remaining 40 series GPUs and I put them in that Octominer X12 Ultra with the 4060 Ti's in the Octominer to the right. So I have 22 total 40 series GPUs. Now, 12 3070s in that small, smaller PCSP Octominer right there. Now note, I did add a third PSU and I'll show you how to do that in a later video. So that's what I've done so far today. 
All right, so I moved into the house to start testing the rest of the Octo miners as it was too hot to work in the shed. So that's it for today's video. And this is part one of my shed upgrade. So stay tuned. This is going to be about a five to six part video video series. So I'm excited to share it with you. Thanks again to PCSP for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys again for watching. Please like and subscribe to see how the rest of this video goes and to see how my shed is doing overall in the middle of this brutal heat wave that is showing no signs of stopping.